it's gonna be okay. I'm really hoping that all of this stuff works out a lot better than it did last week. It already, lo already looks like my video quality is a little bit better. What do you guys think? I, uh, I'm kind of nice. I think all this stuff looks good, so. <laughs> you just let me know. You just let me know. I, uh, this, this talk is gonna be kind of long. So, a lot of this stuff I'm going to be talking about, like I have what I want to say, but I always have to write it down because it never sounds right just coming from me. And so, I'm going to put, so, I have uh, someone joining me here. <laughs> you can't see me from over there. You though. can, hold on. <laughs> Wait oh, for the is. video <laughs> to catch up. <laughs> Okay, so hi, Amy. I hope your your work day was good. Mine's just starting. No, just kidding. <laughs> I enjoy this. I don't think of this as work. This is like something I really like. So I, I actually look for, I look forward to be able to do this and talk to you guys. So I am looking forward to this. So I can watch. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'm happy to have you here. Okay, it's eight o'clock. Just get rid of this music here. Brendan's joining me, so I'm gonna go ahead and start. Eight o'clock. We've been live for about three minutes now, so I'm just gonna go ahead. So basically, guys, what I want to talk to to you about today is staying informed about laws in your area and in, and why that's important, also in the country. So I ran across this article, which is actually perfect, from RoadTrekking.com about how free places to park overnight are slowly going away due to like this legislation that KOAs, big KOAs and stuff are putting out. So here's what they're saying. Here's the quote. What so many of us object to are not our discriminatory laws and local ordinances that prohibit traveling RVers from overnighting in places like rest areas, Walmart parking lots and other places. I'm not talking about setting up camp, putting out the chair, starting a campfire. I'm talking about spending a few hours sleeping overnight before hitting the road again as we're on our way somewhere, usually a campground. <laughs> so the overnight parking situation is not like I want to camp at a Walmart. It's more like I just need to park here, I need to sleep overnight, and then leave. And he's saying in here that lots of places welcome them. And actually, Walmart's company policy is to allow RVs to park there because Sam Walton was an RVer. And then he realized, well, yeah, of course, if they're staying here, then they're going to buy stuff in my Walmart. You know, that's just good business. But a lot of times what's happening is that these corporate policies are being trumped by local ordinances that ban overnight parking. And so I was thinking about this and whether we're talking about this camping issue where these these larger companies are coming in they're saying well, we don't want you guys to be able to do that and here's how we're gonna stop that or we're talking about larger issues staying up to date on what's going on with the laws of our country our state city our town this, these things are important right I think it's also important that we that we realize where these laws are coming from like who who's pushing this law why did they want it anytime a law starts it's usually because they want to either take away some kind of right we have or something's gone wrong or something like that so we need to know why you know why are you why are we making this law why are we starting to do this is this really need to be a law is this just something that people in the in everywhere need to watch out for like what's going on right so like I said in this example the KOAs and other larger campgrounds that are nationwide are the ones pushing these ordinances and these laws to get these um, to get this legislation passed now I think it's ridiculous quite frankly so just just to be clear of who I am I'm a small government conservative and I can understand the desire to like keep people out of like neighborhoods that I totally get you know you you really don't need to be sleeping overnight next to my house at night but you know aren't that what rest stops are for I mean isn't that what rest stops are for shouldn't we 
you know, aren't we constantly encouraged to do that? To stop it or you feel sleepy? Stop and rest. Better to stop and rest than be on the road and endangering people. Isn't that, you know, why we do that? So when it comes to businesses allowing overnight stops, shouldn't that be allowed according to the business policy? You know, I'm just not a fan of creating laws just to line people's pockets or because someone just feels a need for it. You know, emotions are a wonderful thing until you apply them the wrong way. So, like I said, um, instead I would like to see the campsites be creative and provide the services that Walmart and these rest stops already provide, right? Just give me a free place with your name on it and I'll make that association, right? I can stay overnight, get a bite to eat, and oh my gosh, you guys have a campsite. Well, maybe I'll just stay there instead. So I'm thinking, you know, being able to maintain this freedom in your area is why it's so important to pay attention to what laws are being passed and who's who we're putting into office that pass these laws, who make these laws, who push these laws. Or reject them. We want someone that works for us, you know, works for freedom. Ultimately, we're the guardians of our own freedom. We are the ones who say, you know, I want this to not happen or to happen. So at this point, that's all I really wanted to say. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that that type of, that, that freedom is ours to guard? Or do you think it's more along the lines that, you know, oh no, it should be legislation and all this other stuff. You know, I just, I don't like that. I don't like legislation. I don't like it when, you know, government starts saying, hey, you can't park here. Hey, you can't dress this way. Hey, this is the rules now. That's the rules now. I think a lot of times when we make laws, they're just superfluous laws that, that do nothing most of the time. So, I don't know, guys. What do you guys think? I, I, I see travel as freedom. So when I talk about things like I'm going to jump in my truck and I'm going to go down the road and I'm going to go camping somewhere, to me, that's freedom, right? You have this freedom of movement. You have this freedom to decide what you're going to do. It's written in the Constitution, the pursuit of happiness. And for me, that's happiness like I don't think that I think that being in nature for me causes me to have a certain level of peace that I cannot get anywhere else so when people start legislating that or they start wanting to take away my natural spaces I'm sort of like um, no <laughs> uh, I can't get behind that at all so you know, that's just, what do you guys think? Do you think that that this travel stuff is is like freedom? It's, it's one of the biggest and best ways to represent freedom, I guess, of movement. But not only that, but for what travel does for you, travel opens up your mind to other possibilities. Travel teaches you about yourself because it teaches you what you can stand, what you can't, where, where you like to be, where you uh, don't like to be. Uh, it teaches you about culture. It teaches you about, you know, let's see, I've just, I, there is so much I want to say that whenever I say it, a lot of times it comes out wrong. But basically, when you travel, you go to different places, you learn about people, you learn about places, you learn about culture, you learn about food, you learn about yourself and what you can handle. You understand that you, tootling down the road, right? When something bad happens, you've got this. It, cr it creates ingenuity, um, it creates you know, individualism, you understand what you want, you learn about yourselves, outer surroundings, yes, Amy, <laughs> yes, <laughs> power to the outer surroundings, so, these things, I'm very passionate about these things, being an individual, learning about yourself, know yourself, where, what can you handle, what can't you handle, um, where can you go, where can you not go, how independent are you? you know, I 
am a very independent person. You know, don't tell me what to do. Don't help me. I got this. Now, I'm not opposed to asking for help, and maybe that's where laws... <laughs> Maybe that's where laws can come in, where maybe it's a help to people, but it's more like, you know, I, I got this. I can do this. I think that whenever you are an independent person and you start looking at things and you're saying, okay, how am I going to figure this out? It makes you smarter. Like when you have to figure something out for yourself and you have to do it yourself, you go, oh my gosh, okay, I can do this. And it creates, you know self-esteem, self-awareness. It's just so much better than being in one place all the time. So that's why for me travel is a lot of times freedom and when I start seeing restrictions on it, what it is to me is why are people trying to keep us, you know, dumb and dependent and and all this other stuff. So I don't know. Do you do you think the same thing? Just let me know in the comments, guys. I am just looking for some conversation here. <laughs> I'm gonna go to some of these some of the chat here. Amy, you have been Amy Record. Miss Record has been very vocal and you agree with me, it looks like. <laughs> yes, definitely. I just, I don't know. I mean, you need to know yourself. You need to know you've got this and you can handle it. I'm not opposed to getting help, but, you know, let me ask. <laughs> Let's see. Miss Simmons says, I love travel. Travel opens new doors and allows you to expand beyond your own backyard. Freedom to travel is important. Many oppressive governments ban travel or make it much harder to travel. Amy, that's a good point because right after reading that article, I read another one about North Korea and about Germany and a lot of these a lot of these um, countries where if you want to if, if it's a totalitarian government you can't leave they're not even allowed to travel in their area without permission so you know I don't want to I, I don't want to become a nation where you know if you want to travel you want to live a different alternative lifestyle all of a sudden you can't because it's against the law so you, you start to wonder why all of a sudden should are we doing this well basically it's these companies that want to do this so should we as people allow them to you know I don't think so I think we need to I think we we need to keep up on what's going on in like Idaho or Hawaii or or Seattle or wherever. And when people start limiting freedom in whichever way it is, including this travel stuff, then that's just one step to limiting other freedom. Like I said, when you travel, you go out and you experience new things and you you're doing these things and you're you're making these plans and you're making it happen then you are building a stronger self. So why, you know, when these laws are being passed, does this build a stronger self? Does this build stronger people? Or does this keep us weak and dependent and other people have to make decisions for you because you've never had this experience and things like that? I don't believe other people should be making decisions for you. <laughs> After about 18, it's all you, buddy, you know? By then, you know, I think parents should have taught you everything basically you need to know and after that you've got to figure it out because otherwise I don't think we grow. I don't think we develop into people who care about other people unless we have to understand what other people go through. You know, it's such a big deal. So I'm going to go to chat right quick. Hey, record. Yes, Miss Record. Yes, you do agree. I thought so. I thought so. <laughs> Let's see, Miss Simmons. It allows you to expand your thoughts and experiences. Yeah, and and I have seen some research that suggests that the more experiences you have, the better your brain works. Like you're able to make decisions quicker. You're able to understand complex situations better just because you have been exposed to more. So when it comes to this travel things, it's sort of like when you start restricting it and you start saying, well, maybe you can't do this, maybe you can't do this then I you know to me that I see that and I go okay so you're restricting me from becoming a better person you're restricting me 
from learning and becoming smarter even in a way so okay I don't think it's necessarily that though you don't I don't I, I, I think I see Brittany it has as, an opinion um, <laughs> I see it in that these companies coming in they've got a way to um if they have these laws in place so that you can't stop at Walmart you can't stop at the K you can't stop anywhere else well then you're going to go to the KOA and that that's their bottom line well yeah that's exactly why they do it but so they don't, I don't I don't think they're necessarily concerned about much about restriction it's hey how can I get the extra dollar oh I'll write the law I'll make a law so I can, so I can get, get people this. to come because they're breaking the law if I don't yeah yeah it's, it's to get this extra dollar but but what we sacrifice in getting that extra dollar is ourselves the betterment of the people of the country you know it, it it's it's interesting how it becomes such a bigger thing when you think about it how travel becomes that way so I'm gonna go to the chat right quick George hi George sometimes you have to watch out where you're traveling we take freedom for granted yes that's very true and that's something else I said in the 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 last video we did was story time video and you know you have to look out for yourself and that's another thing that develops when you're out there and you're traveling and you're you're having to look out for yourself is that you understand hey I'm not always safe you know if we stay close to our families and stuff I'm not saying that's bad but then we we're always like man I'm always safe you never look and people take advantage of you so it's just one of those things um, this record yes especially outside the country some people don't like Americans nor knowing you're a good person they still want to kill us not all the people some families in those countries are just like us yes that's right everywhere you go there's a faction outside of America or even inside America now that hates America and it's just like a successful person a successful person will have people who hate them because they're successful and America is the most successful country that there is and I don't I that's the opinion that I hold and I'll never hold another one even as bad as it's gotten it's still the one you know the best and I'll always love it so oh <laughs> yay Brendan <laughs> George if you don't like the company stop going there but go to local markets yeah George I don't I at first was all about KOAs because my grandfather stayed in them some and after reading this I'm, I'm not so much I don't I understand why they would do it but to me it's underhanded if you want me to stay at your campground how you about better. yeah how about market better be creative how about like I said give me a rest stop with your moniker on it with maybe a store which hey would increase profit for you where I could do where I could you know get some snacks get some water go to the bathroom showers even like Walmart doesn't have showers but if I had a free place to stay where maybe I could buy some food maybe pay for a shower like a trucker does maybe I'd be more inclined to do that maybe but this this whole stuff for me is just if if we start restricting where we can go and how we can get there and, and all this stuff through laws and through you know living sort of a debt lifestyle and what I mean by that is you just use credit cards or debt or whatever for everything then we lose our freedom and freedom's very important we, I think that freedom needs to be the ability to stay free needs to be fought on every single um, every single front because there are people out there for money for fame for evil intentions will take it from us so it's very important for us to pay attention what's going on in other states what's going on in other countries and make sure our states our countries our our places don't succumb to that and I know that can be hard so it's something I'm gonna try and start doing with introverted traveler you know travel news show you places you can do you know park for free places that love you know alternative sort of things I want to take a cargo trailer okay thanks Amy thanks for coming in I want to take a cargo trailer and turn it into a, a camper we like this idea because it's cheaper one and two the cargo trailers are built a bit better and 
you know, we can make it ours. It'll be completely and totally ours. It'll be made the way we want it. We'll have the bed in there we want, everything. So, but what I'm finding out is that cargo trailers are not welcome everywhere. <laughs> so it's just one of those things, right? It's one of those things where we have to, you have to balance you have to say, okay, I'm, I'm going to be different and I'm going to live a life of freedom, but that means I won't always be accepted and that's okay too. And that's, I think, kind of where I want to end this is that be free. Sometimes you're going to be a freak and that's all right. People are not going to accept it. They're not going to understand it. They're going to look at it and shake their heads and be like, well, why didn't you just go get into debt or why didn't you just go charge it on a credit card or why don't, why don't you just stay home? I've heard that too. Why don't you just stay home? It's like, well, I know what's here. I want to go see what's somewhere else. <laughs> I want to develop myself. I don't want to stay stagnant somewhere else. So that that's the that's the thing for me with travel. That's another reason why I I can enjoy like a tourist trap area. There's there's many beautiful things. But that's why I like to go out to the mountains or I like to go hiking to waterfalls. I like to be doing that because it develops you more. You understand who you are. It's better for you too. So like I said guys, this, this travel stuff when people start taking away your ability to do it and it's incremental, it's a little bit at a time, little bit at a time so you don't really notice. It's, it's it's an affront to the freedom that we were given, I think. And I think if you love your country, which I'm sure you all do, if you want to see it do well, which I'm sure you all do, I think we need to pay attention. And we need to do whatever it takes to pay attention so that we have this freedom of movement inside our own country. And so that we have this ability to do it at whatever pace where we can do it. So whether it's I'm gonna go camping in a tent, the cheapest sort of thing I can do just so that I can learn and explore and experience and learn about myself, or I'm gonna do it the most expensive way I wanna do it and I'm gonna go to every hotel or whatever. I think we need to keep an eye on our freedom and we need to keep an eye on it everywhere because there's people everywhere who wanna take it from us. And I think that's, uh, I'm going to go to the chat one more time, then I'll be done. George, that's how we are, though. In a sense, it is like out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, George, that's true. And that's why I say, you know, take some time. Whatever your hobby is, try and figure out, like, stay. I would, I would say stay on the news, but it, that's so hard now because all they want to do is talk about one thing. Excuse me. And I think what we always have to keep in mind is that in life there's people who want you to be free and they want you to become this developed intelligent person and there are people who want to take that away from you for many different reasons and some and even some of it is love they just don't want you to go away so they want to keep you here at all costs and that's wrong too. I mean it's not wrong to love somebody but it's wrong to not let them go and experience and do the learning they need to do to become a developed person. So um, I don't know where was I going with that. Okay yes. <laughs> so we just have to we have to pay attention and we have to we have to not we have to understand that the little things are big things. When someone does small things, if they can get away with it, they'll go bigger and bigger and bigger. So small things matter. The little things matter. And just to get a little biblical here, the Bible says if you are trustworthy with a little bit, then you'll be trustworthy with a lot. And if you're not trustworthy with a little bit and you're and you and you, you know, screw it up bad or you, you abuse people with just a little bit, then whenever you get a lot, you're not going to be trustworthy with that either. And you're, you're going to screw it up too. <laughs> so I just think we need to be, we need to be 
very vigilant about our freedom. Then we say it all the time when it comes to Fourth of July, Memorial Day, freedom isn't free, and it's not. It takes our time. It takes our our. We need to live our lives, keeping our freedom, and keeping it out of the hands of like governments and 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 you know companies and things like that and I'm not totally against government I'm not totally against companies when they start doing things like this no they need to they need to go away <laughs> so anyways guys thank you so much for joining and I will see you guys next week that's just my little blurb and if you feel like putting anything else in the comments I will read it and I will respond next week alright till then have a blessed night bye